The race for New York's 27th con congressional district is heating up with a new contender throwing his hat into the ring. Senator Chris Jacobs has his eye on Chris Collins' seat. He stopped by our studios today making his case to 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley about why he is the Republican for the job. I think it's important again to have somebody that can fully serve as a congressman and I just unfortunately it's an, under the circumstances uh, Congressman Collins does not have that ability this, at this time. New York State Senator Chris Jacobs is now starting a campaign to win election for the New York 27th congressional seat, a position now held by Republican Congressman Chris Collins. It's a race that won't be voted on until next year. Because I think it's critically important to keep this seat in Republicans' hands, and uh, last time around we almost lost it. Jacobs, also a Republican and well-known in Buffalo politics, believes Collins is unable to do his job because of legal problems. Uh, he's not being able to be fully effective as a congressman should. It was only six months ago when Chris Collins narrowly won re-election in NY27, an election where a dark cloud followed Collins after he was indicted in August 2018 on charges of insider trading and and lying to the FBI. The charges that have been levied against me are meritless. Collins was removed from his congressional committee assignments, but insisted it would not affect his duties to the district. Clearly there's a black cloud that I've got to deal with in 2020, that's a long ways away, that, that would, and that was promoted by the media and also promoted by my opponent. And while that, those issues are real, they don't impact me doing my job. But Jacobs disagrees and said there are many Republicans who are angry that Collins did not drop out of the race after he was indicted. I believe if a congressman's not able to serve on committees, and uh, he was a committee chair at times, um, I would think it would uh, be reasonable to expect that we are losing out on some things. If Collins does run for re-election in 2020, Chris Jacobs might not be the only one challenging him during a primary, as several other Republican names are being talked about also as possible candidates. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Well, in response today, Congressman Collins released this statement saying, quote, while I haven't made a final decision on running for re-election, the last thing we need in, in this seat is a never Trump Republican who supports abortion rights and has supported savings plans and taxpayer funded legal aid for illegal immigrants. That would be the same as electing a Democrat. I ran for re-election to assure that President Trump had an ally in his seat. The president can count on me to assure he has an ally in 2020.